Well, local radio station U93 finished up the annual roof set. They helped to raise donations and educate Hoosiers on child abuse and neglect again for another year strong. U93 is broadcasted live from Heritage Square in Granger. Today, they capped off their roof set with a donut drive. 2014 roof set has raised more than $80,000. They are still $20,000 from their $100,000 goal. Well, today marks the final day of Roof Set 2014. All week long, the community gathered to raise money and a lot of it to fight back against child abuse. Our friends at U93 donated an entire week of airtime for the cause. U93's Artemis explains what makes the Roof Set so special. You can ask almost anyone in Michigan and they know, oh yeah, Roofset is going on this week. So that just proves that, you know, obviously the money and donations are great and, and, and we need that to keep this going. But just the awareness and knowing what Roofset is about is just as important. And Artemis and Rob on hand all week long there with U93. The week long fundraiser wrapped up this morning with a donut drive at Martin's and new tonight. We are learning $120,000 was raised to help fight child abuse. Good for them. The final day of Roof Sit 2014, all week long, the community has gathered to raise money to fight back against child abuse. Our friends over at U93 donated an entire week of airtime for the cause. DJ Rob Sparks explains why U93 helps out each year. We've been doing this for 18 years now in our community, and I've been doing it for seven. We're really starting to see if we can prevent now, and our future is so much better than if we have to, you know, if we're constantly trying to run and find it, it it's, we're always going to have that odd future. But if we can really help prevent child abuse, um, you know, it's, I, I believe it'll change the direction of our future. And we appreciate those guys, Rob and Artemis, around the clock there all week long. The week-long fundraiser wrapped up early this morning with a donut drive right there at Martin's parking lot.